Good evening, everyone. I am Chief Meteorologist Doug Most. We're coming to you from location with a very special edition of Talk Back. I'm actually joined by Captain John Beebe Center with the Tall Ship Lynx. Thank yeah. you for being on Top Back. Doug, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you for coming aboard. Now, I take it this is not your first time to Toledo. It is not. I've been privileged to be here on a couple of other tall ships, the Niagara and the U.S. Brig. Uh, sorry, the U.S. Brig Niagara and the Pride of Baltimore, too. And I've also been privileged to go to school here on a couple of occasions at what used to be the old Star Center over in town. Now, this is an incredible vessel, the Lynx. It's what we're aboard now. Tell people where we're actually located. Well, we're right next to the, uh, the Laker Boyer at this point. And... Uh, we're tied up here for the purpose of uh, both hosting the folks on board the ship and also being able to take folks out for sales over the next couple of days. Where in the ship are we at right now? Oh, I'm sorry. We're in the wardroom, the officer's quarters, uh, despite the fact that it may seem a little small. In fact, this is considered luxury accommodations on the ship, particularly compared to where the rest of the crew live in the folks area. Tell me a little bit more about the ship. It's an incredible vessel, and it's a, a wonderful opportunity for people to uh, check out. Well, thanks very much. She is. She is a replica of a Baltimore Clipper from 1812. In 1812, when the United States went to war with Britain, we had 12 American warships. The Britons had 2,000 warships. So we were at a severe disadvantage. But the United States government was able to add 600 vessels to their fleet by simply commissioning vessels like the Lynx mm -hmm. to become raiders or privateers to prey on British commerce. Nice. And that's who we were. If you ever wondered why the Brits went after Baltimore to burn it out, it wasn't uh, random selectioning. They, this is where the Baltimore Clippers were based. And so they went up to take Baltimore to, quote, burn out that nest of pirates. <laughs> and they had to settle for burning Washington, D.C., but there you have it. Well, speaking of pirates, I understand that this actual ship was used to uh, train the cast and crew of the Pirates of the Caribbean. It's Talk true. about that. It's true. Many, uh, many film stars these days do not know how to sail a tall ship. So before they went on screen, before they went on camera, it was necessary to sort of train them up in terms of what was uh, useful and, and uh workable ways to work on a tall ship, and they got that training aboard the lakes. That's pretty impressive, and yeah. everyone has an opportunity to check it out this weekend. Tell me a little bit about what people can see if they come out here uh, to see the ship. Well, we're going to be open to the public from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, both Saturday and Sunday, and uh, we invite folks to come and see the ship. Uh, we anticipate a lot of folks coming out, and we're not going to be open that much. Uh, three hours is not usually how long we're open. Usually we try to be open all day, but we're going sailing. Okay. Unfortunately, while those tickets are sold out, there is an opportunity, though, to see us in the river firing cannons and setting sails over the course of the next two days. So if you can't get aboard to see the ship at the dock, if you can't go sailing, come out to the river and watch us sailing around. Well, Captain John Beebe Center, we really appreciate you having us on. We hope you have a great weekend here in Toledo. That is tonight's Talkback.